Tonight, watching for a brief window for a little wintry precipitation. Winter weather advisory in effect for Trumbull, Mahoning counties, even though Mercer County, Lawrence County not included in this. Areas to the north of Youngstown especially have the chance to start the day tomorrow with a mixed bag of precipitation. Our temps are dropping to right around the freezing mark to slightly below, and that's where we're going to hover here through the night. I expect lows bottoming out in the upper 20s, but as the clouds build in, those temps slowly start to come up, and that's when this warm front will be approaching, touching off some showers to our south. When that rain arrives, well, temperatures still around the freezing mark, leaves a window in there where we could see a little wintry mix. It's after about 6 a.m. We're going to start looking for that to build in. And during the morning, the early morning especially, we could see that coming down in the form of a little sleet, a little bit of freezing rain, even some snowflakes possible, and enough that we could put down a light coating. Now, that would primarily be a light glazing of ice during the early morning. Bridges and overpasses the best potential to see that. So watch for a few slick spots after about 9 a.m. We start going above 32. That changes all our precipitation over to rain and the potential for slick spots. And into the afternoon, most of that precipitation starts lifting north of our area. And we'll see a little bit of a break before more rain moves in into your Wednesday evening. Now, this batch of rain will be moving in as temperatures are set to start skyrocketing through Wednesday night. You can see we're rising into the 40s late evening. This is when I expect us to hit our high. And then we continue seeing temperatures climbing overnight. Could be a rumble of thunder with that second batch of rain and then the majority of the overnight is not looking too active for us. Thursday is not going to be a washout of a day with the potential to see an isolated shower or a rumble of thunder. I do expect winds to pick up pumping in this warmer air. Highs I think will jump to the upper 60s. We'll likely see some spots potentially touching 70 degrees. Then Thursday evening as colder air starts moving in we head in the other direction. A drastic change comes for your Friday. Looking at that wind outlook for Thursday, though, we will have the potential as we get into the afternoon, especially for gusts in that 30 to 40 mile per hour range again, much like today. And then for Friday, as that cold air builds in, it'll still be blustery. We drop into the 20s for temperatures, but we'll be watching those wind chills dropping down into the teens. So tonight, 29 degrees, clouds increasing, and then watching that window from about 7 a.m. until about 10 a.m., the potential for a little wintry mix before going to all rain into the afternoon. And 46 degrees, that high temperature late in the day. Temperatures continue climbing Wednesday night. If we can get to that 69 degree high Thursday, that would tie the record high for the day. It'll be breezy, small chance for a raindrop, colder and blustery on your Friday. And then we warm back up to the 40s for the weekend and watching for our next storm system bringing scattered showers as we kick off next week.